The gotcha wars are in full swing, or at least that's how it looks to me. People can assume whatever they want from this, but I think this is a direct response to Honkai Star Rail's live stream. And the reason why I say that is because I wasn't even tracking to this until I woke up and somebody pointed out, hey, they released the 1.3 dev notes during HSR's special live stream. So I wasn't tracking. I wasn't even tracking on this. I don't think anybody was. Uh, my voice is a little bit like off today, so my apologies. But yeah, we're gonna talk about the 1.3 uh, Withering Waves dev notes and see if they compete with Honkai Star Rail's 2.5 special live stream. And of course, if you like the content, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below and hit that notification bell to be notified of when the next Weathering Waves video comes out. And of course, don't forget to check out my ever wonderful sponsor known as Gamer Subs. Use go Tystra for 10% off. We just dropped an awesome set of goodies for the day and night, uh, you know, waifu cup release right we have a shirt we have a bomber jacket we have a towel we have some shorts we got freaking air fresheners which is crazy i ordered three of them myself but it's happening right now so go to gamersubs.gg use code tyson for 10 percent off anyway this is gonna be a lot of reading so my apologies if i uh if i stumble a little bit i'm still waking up so let's go ahead and talk about it <clears throat> dear rovers first we want to express our heartfelt thanks for all the support and love for Withering Waves, it's crazy how time flies. We're already halfway through version 1.2 in the turquoise moon glow, and we hope that the Moonlit Fair has been a blast for you so far. Ah, oh, sorry. While you are enjoying all the festivities, new stories are unfolding behind the borders of Jinzhou. We have some awesome updates in the pipeline, and we are excited to give you a sneak peek through the preview. In this preview, you can glimpse into the new area, gameplay features, and some storylines currently in development. So we got the new area, the Black Shore, which looks absolutely stunning. So I got to work on 100%ing some areas. It sucks, man. I just 100%ed um, the uh, Mount Firmament, but there's still like all the other areas I got 100%. I wish they would fix the loop mapper. So I hope that something is addressed about that. Uh, new area of the Black Shores. The Black Shores, an archipelago enshrouded in, a mystery in mysteries and turmoil, remain sealed away from the world in thick digital fog. It is still uncertain when or who will lift its veil, allowing it to be once more, or allowing it to once more shoulder the task of connecting the world. New characters, we got Yuhu, right? Yuhu looks okay. It's like she looks fun, but that's about it. Uh, we've cooked something special with our upcoming resident, or Yuhu. Her resident skill and resident liberation come with a new uh, quick time event. Ooh, okay, okay. So that's what that is. Okay, so it's actually part of her skill. That bring a twist to combat. It's fun, unique, and we think you're going to love it. Dude, that's actually pretty bonkers. I, I like that. I like that a lot, actually. I think that's pretty cool. Um, I, I Am I a fan of quick time events? Not specifically. But, you know, I can get, I can get, I can get, I can get into it, you know. New portal puzzles. We've added portals to some puzzle solving scenarios. Mm. Hey, I just woke up. I had to sleep in today because I was like super tired. Uh, we added portals to some problem solving scenarios so you could hop between different areas or even, nope, no more spoilers. We can wait to see how you use them. Okay. Uh, yeah, portal puzzles could be cool, right? It's a different type of puzzle. We need to we I think that uh with every new area we're obviously gonna get new puzzles. Like that's kind of a given. But what's really cool is I think they're not gonna do it as like continents right now. I mean it's the same thing as what like other games have done, right? So it's not like I'm spitting out anything crazy. But adding new puzzles to new areas of the continent you're on is actually pretty dope. Uh we got a new special enemy hedge puff. Hedge puff. Complete the new collection quest in the Black Shores to unlock the this little guy and other special enemies. Keep an eye out for them. They are scattered across the shores, waiting for rovers. Hmm. Brave enough to test their skills. Okay, so let me take a look at let me take a closer look at that. What? It's downloading it. Oh my goodness. I'm not trying I gotta fix that, but yeah, I think it looks okay. Like it just looks like a puffer fish, right? New boss, Fallacy of No Return. A redacted created by the Tithus system. Patrol. 
We didn't ask for that music. Uh, created by the Tithes system. Controlling the borders between reality and the digital world. That boss looks sick, bro. That boss looks absolutely sick. I dig it. New ta oh, yeah, let's go. New tactical hologram. We're getting Inferno Rider as a tactical hologram. I can dig that, okay? Uh, we are also expanding tactical hologram with some exciting new challenges. Even more exciting and challenging battle uh, content will be coming your way in the future updates. I need to beat uh, stages five and six for all the other ones. So I got to really like hammer down and get that done. Oh, my God. Story event. New companion story. Small woolly big adventures. Oh, it's an encore story. Oh, man. Uh, every story is an extension of life. An adventure is the beginning of the story. Encore extends a special invitation to you. The adventure is about to begin at her as her closest friend. Will you join the Wooly Warrior on this exciting adventure? No, all content shared in the preview is still in development and may not represent the final qual quality or accurate details. Please refer to the official release notes. Okay. And then there is still so much on the horizon. We will continue to share new content and optimization details with you. So stay tuned. And don't forget, we, we as we send out this message, the Moon Chasing Festival featured event by Moon's Grace is still in full swing. And the did the... Uh, I started. I'm sorry for yawning. I'm just so tired. Uh, and then, of course, we're getting our free Zhang Liao. So this is just a preview so far of what they're working on for 1.3. I don't know if this is going to be the full detail. It's not the full details of 1.3 because we haven't even gotten Zhang Li out yet. I think they're going to wait until near the uh, end to give out full details, obviously. Or maybe even like in a week's time, they'll do another developer's message. But if, thi if this truly is the final deets for 1.3, 1.3 might be a sleeper. Like, not in a good way. Like, I'm, I'm kind of shocked with how little there is on this. Um... Why are we only getting stuff about Yuhu? Like, that's kind of confusing. Um, maybe they're reserving a lot of the stuff because they want people to be surprised. But I would think that you'd want to hype everyone up. And I think the most hype thing out of all this is a new boss and uh, the Inferno Rider. Mm. But otherwise, like, to me, like, this is, uh, this is something that could have waited until, like, next week once you put in a little bit more of the stuff that's just me personally all right maybe even two weeks from now i don't know maybe in two weeks we'll get uh more in depth but to me i'm like this is so contrast to 1.2 just in my opinion i don't know what do y'all think it let me know in the comments down below i i don't know how to I, I don't know how to feel about it but yeah anyways y'all that's gonna be it love you to death and as always we'll catch you in the next video please take care and be safe